missed uh, my diploma, that was 2015 July. Uh, this thing uh, mainly, the, the, the animals have started rearing them in 2016, when I was now at home, that is 2016. Uh, I just basically started in one, the one black as I said, that one there. That one had to multiply, that's why you're seeing the rest here. Basically, that started in that one. Uh, for now, the goats are they're around 20, 28. 28 for now. Uh, this is minus the, the, the small, small ones. And then uh, this sepa is just uh, now going to incorporate in the sepa aspect. For now, they're around uh, to be seven yet for now. And then, likely enough, also the, the, the president has to hear the pronouncement of youth, to get, youth leaders to get uh, the, the, the haifas. So I happen to get one as the youth leader and it has reproduced one. So for now also I'm ripping something out of it because during the dry spell here I'm getting at least six liters a day. So locally here that one also generates some, so some little money. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, getting, getting something little is never an easy cause for patience and hard work. Because uh, if we are to focus and say that the government, the government always gives jobs. I don't think there's another government in the world that has jobs for every citizen. You get to realize, the, 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 my qualification here, if I'm to go to the district level and look at the procurement officer there, that person might be around 30 years for now. And if I'm to wait for him, when will that person retire? So that one challenged me, meaning uh, the population keeps growing. Now if we are to say the government give us jobs, and then we may not really live up the expectation. My name, and uh, I'm here in Oleba sub-county with this gentleman. I'm very happy for what he has done today, for what he has showed me today. This gives me the courage and uh, the zeal to support this kind of organization. Actually, this is what I am looking at. I am looking at the self-employed youth. That is where we are heading. If we are self-employed, that is the right channel to, to go into. So my intention purposely of coming here today is to show them support, to give them courage because these animals, these people are having here, have a lot of market outside, external market and even local market. We have good local market. They can also work on the animals and they export the meat outside and that is the kind of support I want to give them. Let them realize that what they are working, they're getting profits out of it. That is the major thing I want to do for them, to support them so that others learn from them. We may have one today here, another village, we may have another one. With the time you'll find them developed and we have a lot of youth having farms like this. And that is what I want to instill in them. I want to give them support, I want to be behind them, to work together with them so that they become their own entrepreneurs in our area. Basically, the support here we're looking at is giving the youth the skills because you know they have the challenges they are facing in the background of how they are taking care of their animals. Some of the animals are dying because they, they get sick and they don't know the best medicine to give them and some of the animals are not well fed. So we're looking at supporting them in a way that you give them the right support in giving them the information on how to take care of these animals, the best feeds to give them in terms of dry season and if it's wet season, of course, grass is available. But if it's dry season, how are they supposed to feed these animals so that they don't lose the energy they have to look good quality animals. Then also the disease is attacking these animals. We look for the best medicine for them because I'm very sure out there I don't think they are all sensitized about the best medicine to look for these local and exotic kind of animals they are taken care of. Uh, and do you, do you have a plan for the market? Yes, we can have a plan for the market. How? Because you know internationally they are exporting goat's meat. It's very very expensive. Let me look at um, Arua town. They can have a group where we will say goats meat to be imported from Arua to Kampala, Kampala outside. That is a very simple thing we can work on. And when they see that such products are being exported out, they get the zeal because exporting something out of the country is very expensive. And our local, most of the people internationally, nowadays are looking at the local things. People are running away from actually exotic things that they are making out of, you know chemicals. They are looking at this kind of animals which are local. Their meat is different, it tastes different and they know they are not eating something that will give them disease. So if they get that local market of exporting things out of the country or to the neighboring countries, it is something great for them and that is something I would like to work on.